your buddy whistling. Yep. Alright, it should be public now. Let me know if you s can see it, yeah, yeah? What? The live stream. Your job! Oh, if it's unlisted, I can't see it. I said it should be public now. Well, I haven't gotten any notifications, so I don't know. New refresh, no? Did I get the notification? Usually it does. know if you can see it. And fish sticks. I forgot to turn on the people counter again. Yeah, it's here now. Alright, uh, type a message. Or just say hi. Okay, so I did remember. Alright, I was just making sure it remembered you were the moderator. Apparently it did. Good. That means your job is guaranteed. Somebody named Kale Trains is commenting. Ah, that would be the owner of Kano Trains, Steve Lero. 
Hello and welcome. Getting ready to start off this birthday party for the um, Frisco's 1522 and 611. So let's see here. What kind of time? Uh, we'll do like sixteen, fifteen. Nah, we'll do fourteen ten. Eh, that's good. Let's see. Alright, so here we are. Alright, so I'm going to have this live chat room <coughs> for anybody in trains or in the trains world that wants to play or type. How many people is watching now? Yeah, yeah, I forgot to Three. put my counter on. Three. Alright. So, alrighty then. Going to be doing a live birthday party for two locomotives that were built in this month in May. Frisco's 1522 and Norfolk and Western's 611. So. My math is correct. 1522 is 93 years old now? Yeah, so sh soon she'll be 100. That's amazing. And 611 was 69 years. Oh wow, next year will be her 70th birthday. Well, that's going to be really awesome. So for both birthday runs, I'm going to run each of these locomotives up and down the Joint Rails remake of the Tidewater Point route. So, 1522 and 611 have their own ex excursion train. So, alright, in case anybody hasn't um, seen my Patreon page, I've been dealing with some unknown trouble with my computer that for some reason it just did not want to operate or install the um, updates like it should and then it just wouldn't run so I've been having a great trouble deal of trying to get this computer back up and running and I'm hoping this time it is fixed, but we shall see in the next few days. Because every time I keep thinking this computer is now fixed, something happens and then I can't make any more videos. So, But also, yesterday or last night, I did my very first Patreon only live stream. For those who wanted to help set up with the future upcoming videos on the new k Trains locomotives that get released. And that they get involved with the setup. Say what stuff they want to see happen or during the setup and a run and get to witness the run at first hand. So, the next Patreon only live stream. We'll see what came out after what came out after the A, B, and C and Atlantic coastline. Um, that um, Canadian Pacific, yeah, that Canadian Pacific 462 Pacific. That was the um, next one. And then the following same will be for Union Pacific's um, Mikado, and so on and so forth. So the Patreon only live stream. 
it's going to be for um, the setup and the run builds for the new K&L trains locomotives that get um, released when um, when they get released. So, alrighty. Just waiting for 1522 to finish building the pressure and. Let's see, how much weight is 1522 pulling? 97,000 tons? That's pretty good. How about the 611? About 1,400 tons, so she's got a heavier train. So again, if you do have the, um, the trains game, you can um, also join here in the um, speed live chat room because I still cannot see the um, the live chat off the of YouTube. So, is the stream yep. still good? Yeah, yeah. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. How many people is watching? Two. Two. Three. Three. It just it just went up and or went down and went back up. Wow. Oh, well, maybe that person had a refresh. I, I literally, as I said that, <laughs> uh, as soon as I said two, it went right back to three. All right. Well, we are ready for the first birthday run with fifteen twenty-two. Oh, five now. Okay. Cool. The more the merrier. All aboard. Ready to say good morning, neighbors. What if they don't want it? Well, then I guess they're just going to get a rude awakening. <laughs> steam locomotives seven built.
So how's it going? Well, it running smooth on your end, I mean? <clears throat> Smoother than butter on ice. Mm -hmm. So how's it looking on the stream, sir? Looks fine. Because uh, there was a new setting I found on my trains game that I didn't know about, and it's making mm -hmm. the game run a lot smoother. You know, I wonder, 1522 being at the, um, the um, museum, ah, the St. Louis Museum, where she is displayed right now, I wonder if the people that own 1522, if they would be willing to get 1522 fire ready for her 100th birthday. I mean, her 100th birthday is like in seven years, so that would give plenty of time for them to get her ready for her 100th birthday. I think that would be something really, really cool and really special that they should do to have 1522 operate and run for her 100th birthday, because that's a huge milestone marker. Yeah, but I wonder how how expensive that's going to be to do that. And that might well, be that depends. Here. That depends how much work that she needs to be done. If she's... Because I know steam engines got to go through, um... What was that? Some kind of federal regulation. Like, they got to go through... They got to go through a complete rebuild to, um, to get back the firing order. Oh, it's never going to happen, is it? <clears throat> The K and L train guys said it's never going to happen. The museum has expressed that they have no intention to run the engine because it ends up exhausting all the funds needed for ma maintaining the museum collection. In other words, it's, uh, it's so too they don't have the money. Well then. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. <laughs> it's like it sounds like that train's expensive to fix, and they just well, not going to bother. Well, you said that's maintenance to maintain a run. But yet, a lot of people no, thought... No, no, it said needed for maintaining the museum collection. Yeah, but that's what I mean. The museum collection and the to get her to, to keep her running. But I yeah, was but thinking that, that you know... People thought 611 would never fire again, and she's steaming in the 21st century. And even the big boys, they thought that the big boy would never run again, and 4014's running, so... Who knows? Yeah, maybe maybe another group or organization will, will want to do the funding for 1522 and get her going for her 100th birthday. Yeah. You, you never know. know. I mean, it sounds like... What is it, 1522? Sounds like that thing is super expensive to get fixed, so there could be a lot of problems with it. According to what I've read. That's what it seems, that's what it sounds like, that it's just so expensive that there's no point to fix it. Because that's how broken it is. <laughs> that's usually what happens with them. Too broken, you can't fix it. You say, well, I'm not no, sh she's not broken, but she's on static display. But like I said, every um, steam locomotive has got to go through that federal regulation thing to, um, you know, just to ensure that they're sound, that they can operate. But still, it would be something really special 
if 1522 was ever to run for her 100th birthday. Who knows? Okay, he said, the museum is not going to do anything with the engine unless someone else <clears throat> leases it, pays to prep it, pays to move it, pays to have it restored and stored somewhere. It's basically a uh, stipulation that guarantees the engine will never run again. Yeah, I'm a museum said. Because they don't have the funding. No, as long as the museum owns it, that train will never run again. So the only way to get it to ever run again is the museum can't own it. Which well, makes sense. That'd be, that'd be a really shame, though. I mean, it makes sense. The train, I mean, the, the, that museum, whatever it's called, owns it. They have all the rights to it. No one can yeah. do anything about it. But I just don't know if if they were able to sell it to a private owner or I don't know how yeah, but, all that would work. I mean to do all that, I bet you it's gonna cost millions. Pay for it, restore it, being restored alone is probably one of the most expensive. Moving it would be really expensive. Yeah, I... There's no way. Well, it's still something that would be really cool if it were to happen in real life. I mean, I'm not... I'm not sure if 30... Uh, Canadian National is 30... 32.54. I think she was going under restoration on the... Her 100th birthday. I guess one can dream, but then again, thanks to KL trains, we can make anything we want happen in the train game. So maybe seven years from now, every um, everyone who records trains can do their own hundred birthday run for 1522. Uh -huh. Thirty-two fifty-four is in bad shape. The other CN two eight two they have at the museum is apparently in better condition and a better candidate for restore. To restore, their main priority now is the BMN thirty-seven thirteen. You got all that? Yeah, I heard that. So what is the 3254? 3254, that's a Canadian National 282 <laughs> 1B Mikado that um, works for Steamtown. But I think recently she was pulled for um, service or her um, her regulated inspection. Yeah. For some reason, apparently it's in really bad condition or whatever is going on with it. So, sounds like that train's not going to be running anytime soon, if ever. Well, don't know. Don't I mean, know bad shape doesn't sound good, so... <laughs> Well, I was going to say, it can't be any worse than what Redding's 1187 is right now. And what would that be? I don't know nothing about nothing. Uh, it's another steam engine, and it's a Obviously. 040 Camelback that um, used to work for the Redding Railroad with the switching and yard work, and then she ran in um, for Strasburg for a few years until her fire was permanently dropped. In 67, I think.
stream still good? Mm hmm. Throw out a switch so I can return back. So how many people says is watching now? Three. Three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Switch again for when 611 comes. Back to the start. No, you have a slow car. <laughs> you funny. I know, I'm all way over this.
scenery. hit 90 miles an hour. That's right, I gotta make sure she clears 611.
All right. Well, this concludes um 1522's run. So wow, that was something. Wow, that beautiful scenery. Uh, let's see, 611. She's been sitting a while, so it's going to take a little longer to get her up and running. So how's the stream looking? Yeah, yeah, is it still running smooth? Yeah. So. Well, even if 1522 doesn't get to run for her 100th birthday, it, it still will be something really spectacular to see. Because I think that's a really good, or that's a huge milestone for locomotives to reach their 100th birthday. It's just something really special. Let's see, how many, how many engines are actually over 100? There's 630. And I can't remember if 4501 is over 100 or if she's not. I can't remember. But it was 630, it's definitely over 100. And what other? Uh, oh, yeah, 30, 3254 over 100. In fact, I think she's 102 now. So we'll let 611 finish building the pressure to her safety valve pops. Uh, 4501 is 108. 108? Okay, so yes, yeah, she... Or she will be 108, because I think her birthday is on October. But yeah, she's over I mean, 100. she will be 108. Yeah, because 4501 was built in October. Yeah, so, so, oh yeah, the constant struggle and agony and torture. It said, it said uh, October 1911. Okay. I couldn't remember which year she was built in. 1911. Yeah, but, um, yeah, recently I've been going through the struggle and agony of trying to get my computer straight because for some odd reason the updates wouldn't install correctly and then the computer doesn't want to or I should say Windows doesn't want to run at all so I'm hoping I finally got the problem fixed and I can get on with my what barely schedule of video production I'm working on because I am so far behind. <laughs> so, nah, it ain't that funny. But, yeah, it was a, it's been a constant struggle and pain in the butt thinking, oh, yeah, I'm finally going to get to do the live streams I want to do. I'm finally going to get to record the videos I want to do. And then... So, there was, um, when I was redoing the first time setup for my trains game, there was a new setting I found under the installate install tab that said vertical sinkage. I have no idea what that is or what it does, but originally it was set to half, and then now that I put it on full, the game runs a whole lot more smoother. That's vertical. That's uh, V sync. Okay, so what does V sync actually do? Do you know, Yaya? Um, I'm not exactly sure what it does, 
Or but it's mostly in. I don't even know why it's in that game, but it's, I think it's more for like racing and uh, shoot 'em games. I didn't know it would have anything to do with trains, but I don't know. Well, there is a multiplayer feature in this game. No, I'm saying the type of game that the trains is versus a racing game. Are yeah, two but I'm. I just want to know what ver the vertical sinkage does, or what it is. Um, I, mean, I can't remember what it does. Anybody, any other trains users, if they know what that is, go ahead and I'll type in the com in the chat. So. I kind of forgot, but I think. Uh, it's to help the. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm not sure, but this. Like I said, this game runs like butter on ice. It runs really smooth. There she is, the Queen of Steam for her 69th birthday run. And boy, I wonder what um what the um Far Up 611 group what they got planned for her 70th birthday next year. I wonder if they're already planning stuff on that. Hmm. <coughs> But speaking of which, um, if I remember, if I'm not mistaken, it seems, it seems the frame rate for for games to your monitor, so you can get lower frame rate, lower or higher. Either, it depends on your monitor, I guess. Oh. Well, so the crappier the monitor is, the crappier your frame rate would be. Well, then I guess my monitor must be really good. Now, if you turned it off, you'd probably get a lot more. But it's no. usually just the on or off feature. It's usually never. Well, it was half. set. It was set to half, and it had features of none, half, or full. So I put full it on. Would, full would be on, off would be off, and half would be in between. Medium, like in between, yeah, medium, whatever. Yeah, so I guess with it fully on, it's fully sync, and I guess that's why I'm getting such great frame rate. Mm. Well, again, it also it depends on your monitor. Well, I guess the monitor can handle it, cause so if your monitor can't handle the Decent, yeah, I know what you're saying. Work. I know what you're saying, but, but I'm saying I guess my monitor is worse. handling it. I don't know. Because it's running a lot smoother than it did before. A lot more smoother and really nice. So hopefully, six eleven will be ready soon. Uh, yes, yeah, six eleven. She's going to be in um, Strasbourg uh, this September and October. I think they have it uh, now. Six weekends. She's going to be up there. So that's going to be something really cool to see and I wonder if they'll have um 611 double head with 475 for an NNW double header or matter of fact I think 611 can pull pretty much anything Strasburg has up there but still who knows
So, <coughs> anybody watching the stream, or y'all, anybody planning to go to Strasbourg to see Six Eleven? Or how many people is watching now? Bless you. Bless you. <coughs> Four. Four. Right, I'm gonna refresh this um live chat. Alright. <coughs> Bless you. Alright then, let's go! Come on, let's break free from the station's clutches. Yay! I don't know why, sometimes when I try to leave a station with a passenger train, it just thinks like, oh, he just got here. Okay, we'll just stop him. Oh, hello, Cotton.
sounds weird. Am I still alive, Yaya? Fine. Okay, cause caught in 819, but they didn't get a notification on his life. It's weird. I didn't either. I just had to go to your page or whatever. Or go to the YouTube home page and show up every now and then. But not always. It's just easier to go to your channel when I know you're alive. That is I guess YouTube is slacking. watching the stream uh four okay oh in KL trains I only got a teaching on the case and nothing to correct from you he only got a Patreon notice YouTube. You just want to make life more difficult, don't you? I guess so. Because, yeah, yeah, you subscribe to my channel, right? Uh, I believe so. Okay, so. so, in that ex example, when you subscribe to a channel, and if that channel is doing a live stream, why won't YouTube let you know right away that there's a live stream going on? You could just do the fact that you don't have the right notification. That's always a possibility. Really. Very strange. But I do. I haven't said it to you. When you post a new video, I'm just getting a notification. But I don't. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I just figured that, you know, if you subscribe to someone's channel and they have a live stream, would you like to know about it as soon as it starts? Yeah, but you also have to have the, the, the notification. You have to have that too. Oh, you gotta have that now? Mm -hmm. Well, what's the point of the subscribe button then? 
that you subscribe to the channel, aka that you like the channel. That's about it. And then, and then the bell is there to notify you when that person puts in the video. But they only have the the normal bell, then they'll receive notifications once in blue moon or whatever it says. It's like occasional or something. And then you have to click it one or two times to get the, you know, every video or whatever. I could have sworn. It just depends. I could have sworn you just hit subscribe and everything gets to you. Yeah, you have to. Basically, you have to. You have to enable the notifications. That's what the bell is. Describing to your channel just means you like it. Doesn't mean you want to receive every video posting that they did. That's the difference. Uh, YouTube just gets more and more confusing. No, it's always been. Oh, okay, never mind. It's always been confusing. Yes. <laughs> no, you've mean... always had to keep it going. It's been like that for a long time. I mean, I've had rough stuff with YouTube because, for one, I'm back. Yeah, if you just have the bell, then you'll you'll get an example. You'll get occasional. Um videos or whatever and then when you click it again you'll see the little lines above the bell and it says you'll get all notifications yeah well but I don't know if it counts for live videos it counts for videos that's for sure but the live one, I'm not sure, because it doesn't seem to work that way. Because I didn't get the notification, and um, that guy you were talking about didn't get the notification. KO Mental Trains guy didn't get the notification, so. Yeah. And this is a live stream, so there's a difference. If this was just a video posting, then yeah. it'd be a lot different. I don't know. I try to, you know, try to get much notice on my Patreon page because I try to, you know, put stuff up there for hopefully people to read, like the upcoming runs on my timetable or upcoming live streams. Yeah. So that way I try to give people, well, I try to do it like a two day notice, but. The way that, you know, my life is right now and stuff going on, I'd be lucky to do it, you know, the night before or the morning of. Uh-huh. So. And YouTube, you know, this has been gone for some really... I don't know. First, they took away my only video editor. Or they took away YouTube's video editor, so... That left me with no, with no canoe or paddle. <laughs> so then I had to find something else to edit and paste my videos. Mm -hmm. And then they took away my ability to put ads in videos, but... Well, that part doesn't bother me because since doing these trains videos, there's... I never had the heart to put ads in these trains videos. Because if you're like me, you hate commercials, like I do. But the thing yeah, is, though... That's only in the videos. I don't think that's in the live stream. Well, still, even in videos. Yeah, but that... I believe, isn't the ads in the videos is for you to get paid or whatever? On YouTube or something? Yes and no. You do get paid but not from YouTube. You get paid from the ad people. 
I don't think YouTube pays for squat. Um, they should be able to. I mean, don't doesn't Google own them? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was a thing to, to offer paid content, but then they got rid of that when they changed the ad thing for you had to have a thousand subscribers. No, I think it was always you had to have a thousand subscribers. You had to get a thousand subscribers for paid content, but now that thing is gone. I don't know. I just think... I don't know. It's like uh, what uh, Mini Lad said on one of his videos. I saw that. He said YouTube is just pretty much broke. They have no money. Yeah. I'm kind of agreeing with him on that. I think YouTube is pretty much just out of money. No, that's not possible. Well, I don't YouTube know. YouTube is owned by Google. Yeah, before. it is. Google is not out of money. There's no way. Well, I didn't say Google was. I said YouTube. Yeah, but... YouTube Google is part you. of Google. Well, they own you. That's a big difference. Yeah, but it's, I think it's kind of like how Amazon owns Twitch. Nah, I don't. I'm not sure, but anyways, let's get back to the main focus and celebrate the birthdays of 1522 and 611. How old is uh, 1522 today? Is it 92? Is that what you said? 1522 is 93 this month. And 611 is 69 this month. Now, what their actual birthday? The actual day they rolled out of the shops? I don't know. I do it by month and year for these birthday runs. I think okay, well, someone was asking how old 1522 is today. Well, she's 93. You know how old Robert Keen is? How old what? Twelve eighteen. Twelve eighteen's birthday is next month. Next month, but do you know how old it would be? Uh she was born in forty three. I think she'll be 76. Because I think yeah. last year I did the special birth, 70th and 75th birthday for um, 1218 and um, Greenbrier 614. I remember doing that. So yeah, I think she'll be 76. Good.
this the oldest engine I know? I don't know. How old is the O two two rocket? Anybody know? That was like one of the first steam engines ever built. No, I have no idea. <laughs> CNJ one thirteen is very old. Do you know how old uh, SP seven forty five is? engine now? SP745 No, I do not know how old she is. She's 98. Wow, so in a couple of years she'll be a hundred. I mean that's what the K&L guy said. Yeah, Kai, and I was talking about the Stevens rocket. Uh oh. That was the engine I was talking about. At least 150. Yeah. Probably would be. About as old as railroad in itself, I reckon. Alrighty. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream and. Oop. I almost forgot to turn off the water injector. <laughs> so. Hope everyone enjoyed the stream and. Thank you all for tuning in and. Once again, happy birthday to Frisco's 1522 and NEW 611. So, so again, thank you people for tuning in. Um, hope you all enjoyed the stream. And um, hopefully, if everything is fixed and everything is running right, um, next new video of the um, A, B, and C and the um, Atlantic Coastline um, AS3 um, engine, that video will hopefully be will be out this coming Friday. So, and then, um, keep up on my Patreon uh, page for news and updates of upcoming runs or live streams or computer situations. So, alright, well, thank you all for tuning in and I will talk to you again in the next one. Later.